Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my formal dining and living room. I'm in the middle of a makeover in here, so I explain what's going on in the next clip. If you want to skip over that, I will leave a timestamp on the screen for you. All right, you guys, so just a behind the scenes look at what's going on in here. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is our formal living space. So. We have dining and living room all in one. It's all open. And then we have our front door and our second staircase. So things are a mess in here. And if you're an old subscriber, you might notice some new furniture and some old furniture that is no longer here. So for some reason, I decided to start selling some furniture early November and it couldn't have been like the worst time to do it because I'm in the middle of all this Christmas stuff. But I've sold the orange couch that was here from Ikea and I sold the coffee table. I also sold the sideboard that was here. So this is a newer piece. I got this from Target. So just a lot going on. I loved this piece from Target. It was more on the affordable side. It's from Hearth and Hand. Um, I just loved that it's open and I can style these shelves. I absolutely love that. This piece over here is also a newer piece. I have been waiting for months for this painting to come back in stock. And I just left it here because I didn't know where else to put it. I do love paintings leaned against mirrors. I just don't think that this is the right mirror to do that. So I don't think that this piece will stay here um, for this video. One thing some of you have pointed out is how bare my home is. With this house not being our first, I've learned to slow down and take my time to make sure I'm picking out the right blinds, curtains, accent walls, and furniture so that I don't hate it a few months later because I have a tendency to do that. This space is getting custom curtains, some artwork, a different mirror, and so much more. So I'm so excited to get started on it once the holiday season is over. I didn't like the base of this tree, so I placed it into this planter and I think it turned out a lot better. I didn't want to add any ornaments to the tree, only ribbon, and I struggled placing the ribbon into the branches. They just wouldn't stay in place. So I cut strips of it and folded it. Because this is a wired ribbon, it holds its shape that I wanted. So I just tucked them into the branches until I got the look I was going for. I found it much easier to just cut the strips and make little loops instead of trying to fold and loop one entire strand. On the other side, I added books, a ceramic tree that I DIY'd, and this candle holder ended up getting booted off. I replaced it with a rosemary plant later. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform in all the Christmas songs. That I had to add cinnamon sticks here too, like I did in my first Christmas decorating video this year. So many of you have told me that you bought cinnamon sticks after that video. It makes me so happy. I'm inspiring some of you. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything if you watched my decor haul, you know I bought a plaid tablecloth for this table, but it was too short. It didn't even go over the ends and I don't like that look. So I returned it and found this runner instead. It's neutral and it's something I can use year round. Making our Christmas memories, oh. Like a lot of you, I've been having trouble finding some greenery or stems to use for 
the holiday and winter season so i picked up some fresh cedar from home depot they are extremely affordable i bought two bundles cost me nine dollars per bundle instead of nine dollars per artificial stem so that was a steal for me and i soaked them overnight to preserve them and help them last longer i've been hanging marbles in the tree and I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those cats This garland doesn't look real, it is real And I love that so much Definitely get some fresh stems, you won't regret it To the table, I also added candlestick holders And just tucked them under the garland I added ribbon to my candlestick holders In part one of my decorating videos but afterwards, I saw Evelyn Hernandez add ribbon to the top of hers instead of draped at the bottom like I did. And I loved how it looked, so she inspired me to do the same. For this coffee table, I added a vase filled with water and placed the fresh cedar stems in it also to help them last longer. The candle is just for aesthetics. I won't be lighting it. It is too close to the stems. I don't want them to catch fire. And of course, I added some more cinnamon sticks here too because they smell amazing. I also added cinnamon essential oil to mine if you want to do that. The pillowcases are from Amazon. I will have everything that I can linked down below for you guys. I got this wreath from Target. It was $20. And the stems are not my favorite, but you get what you pay for, and we don't have a covered porch, so I don't like to invest in a more expensive one. I love that it had two bells that came with it for the price, but I did not like the bow that it came with, so I switched it out with the same ribbon I've been using throughout my home. I know that my Christmas decor is pretty simple and minimal for some of you. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys don't, and you guys have definitely voiced your opinions. Um, but I want you guys to keep in mind that I have a laundry room downstairs, a toddler, and a baby. So with baby gear, toys, and laundry downstairs all the time, it's really, really cluttered and it's very busy, very overwhelming for me. So minimal decor works for me and works for my home and my family. So I do love it that way. If you don't, I'm sorry. Maybe my channel might not be good for you, um, but I hope you guys do stick around. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Thanksgiving if you are celebrating. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you in my next video.